Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're back at the 1998 Four Winds Horizon 240. It's been a couple weeks since I've been able to do anything at the end of the school year and parties and all that good stuff. But here we are on a beautiful Saturday morning, about 60 degrees, perfect for doing, you know, one step. I'm not going to start the video saying I'm doing everything. I'm going to go with the old McGuire's high gloss polish. Yeah, no, if you watched another video, I already did that. But my thought is, I did it by hand. And after doing some more reading on the internets and uh, watching a couple videos, I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to go with the 9-inch or the 6-inch on the DA polisher. Um, I think that's actually the route I'm going to go. So today... This morning, I'm going to apply this stuff and see how it goes uh, with the DA and kind of go from there. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, as we get things going, we'll figure it out. It's been washed, it's been dried, and all we're waiting for is for me to get some gas for the generator and start this thing up. So sit back, enjoy the talking, uh, hit the like and the subscribe button, please trying to get this uh, to a few more subscribers. So appreciate it, and uh, here we go. All right, well, we are about to get started. Let's see if we can make this a little bit brighter for you. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get started. Shook up our Meguiar's 45, and we're gonna charge the pad here, just so that it doesn't su oh, suck everything in, and then we lose it. Oh, you can see what I'm doing. Just trying to work in some of the polish into this so that those first couple those first couple passes doesn't suck it all out. Alright, here we go. No time like the present. We're gonna do a little bit. We're gonna come back and wipe it off. We're gonna see what happens. Let's see, what are we at? Start at about a three. Let's see how fast this is. Alright. Moving it up to a four. So it says, do not let polish dry. It says not to let the polish dry. So we're going to do a little bit at a time here and then wipe off and go to the next. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're not kidding. This stuff hardens pretty good. I don't think you can see on the camera. Well, I don't know if I can see in person either, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely got a little bit more machine to it. Um, but it is what it is. We are going to continue on. Uh, so let me throw you into some hyperlapse and go from there. It's going to be interesting. I don't think you can see it down here. But you can see where I didn't cut as much as I did in other places. I wonder if that's going to take that out. So let's go to hyperlapse and uh, I'm going to hit that down there at the bottom. And I'll come out of hyperlapse and talk to you.
All right, uh, so I just, you saw what I just did. Anyway, down here, see if I can bring this up again, lock that. Uh, it actually did take out, it actually did take out some of the places I missed and did bring it up to a, a much better shine for sure. Uh, this has, this is polished, right? So it's got no cleaners in it. All it's doing is polishing the gel coat. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, like I had said in my previous video, I'm not too worried about it down there. I've got stuff on there that I think needs to be wet sanded off, and I'm just not doing that this year. So, let me zoom you back out. Uh, ooh, that's a wide angle. Anyway, yeah, so... It actually did a pretty nice job uh, so far. So let's hit the rest of this and uh, get going. I think the only thing I I don't know about is should I continue buffing with these or should I get out a buffing pad to make my life easy? You know what would make my life easy? Having more help. That would make this easier. Um, one person polishes, one person either buffs or uses the rotary buffer. Uh, but I think it's doing an okay job, so on we go. Like and subscribe. I'm going to say it like 10 times, I promise. All right, you, it's hard to, I'm trying to shield my camera here for you. You can just, it's, it's a lot more apparent in person, but right here is where I finished. Right here is where I haven't gotten to. And there's a marked difference between a little bit of a, you know, dull red and a brighter red. Well, that's, you can kind of see it there. So yeah, um, not bad. I just wanted to show you that. Back to it. Hey, all right, you've seen enough. You don't need to see any more. Uh, I've done from the bow to over here at the 240 mark. Um, trust me, it's going well. Uh, it'd be nice to have a second person with a rotary buffer. Oh, I just dropped my pad on the ground on rocks. Son of a gun. Gonna have to fix that. Um, I wish you could see. Uh, yeah, you can't really see where I did, but trust me, it's working. Anyway, um, I'm going to finish this out. You're just in my way. I'll come back when I'm done. See you in about, I don't know, hopefully 20 minutes, but probably two hours. All right. It's been about an hour and a half uh, in total. So an hour since I last saw you. And we are done. We have polished the entire boat minus the entire underside down there. I got up to like here because like I said, there is all sorts of stuff kind of caked down there that I got to get off. Anyway. It's been polished, and I gotta say, Meguiar's, it kinda did a nice job. It's hard to tell in the video, but where I didn't do and then where I did do, you could see uh, the, the color difference. It really deepened the red a lot. Um, as I walk around the boat here, try to get it from a different angle. Um, I mean, it's a 1998 boat, so it is what it is. But, you know, with all of the products, the, the heavy cut, or the power cut, and then the 67, um, and then the polish, I think it did a nice job. Uh, next step here um, is going to be to wax it and take a guess what we're going to use. Yes, we're going to use Meguiar's product. We're going to use the um, synthetic wax. So... That'll be the next video waxing. It is Father's Day weekend. It's Saturday. 
Uh, it's beautiful, so I might just get to it. But that will finish off the bottom side with the next video. And then we can worry about the top side and everything else we have to do. So, hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the next one. Later. I just finished polishing uh, the gel coat, the below the rub rail with Meguiar's uh, 45 high polish. Now, finally, we're going to wax the boat. But I thought I had another black pad. I don't. So I'm going to be using the Bauer 6 inch fine foam polishing pad to apply the Meguiar's and I'll wipe it off with a uh, microfiber towel. And that's what we're going to do. So stick around. Let's do a quick walk. You can see it's got a pretty good uh, amount of shine on it. Uh, the Meguiar's um, says it, it takes out light scratches, uh, cleans and, and applies the synthetic wax. Well, if you've been following, you know I've already done all that. So we're going to see how it turns out. Um, so stick around. Oh yeah, like and subscribe. I appreciate it. All right, welcome back. We are continuing on to the next, get off there, to the next step here. We have polished the entire boat. We have wiped it down. Now we're going to be applying our, hold on, I'm coming back, our wax. We are using Meguiar's flagship premium marine wax. We're going to be applying it with the Bauer 6-inch fine foam polishing pad, and we're going to be wiping it off with the microfiber as we go. I'm going to be using my DA polisher. We're going to see how this goes. Um, boat looks good. Hopefully this makes it look great. Uh, even though we've already cleaned, we've wet sanded, we have compounded, we have polished. Uh, this removes light oxidation, fine scratches and swirls. And then it adds in UV, uh, UV protectant. I'll be darned. If that's what the polish does and I just doubled my steps, going to kick myself in the butt. But hey, maybe the boat looks better at the end. We'll see. So stick around. I'm going to put you on uh, again on hyperlapse and mm, here we go. All right, had to start the generator. Wonder why it wasn't working. Uh, we have our power pad, white. Uh, we have our flagship marine polish, and let's do the next step here. Yeah, I'm getting this thing on, which is about three and a half. I gotta charge the pad up because it just sucked in all of that. Put a lot on here. And I'm just gonna rub it in. Um, if you're watching and you see me keep looking up, what I'm doing is I'm just using points of reference on the boat to uh, to give me like you know where I am and, and what I'm doing. Alright, let's try that again. So charge up the pad a second uh, the first time here. Yeah. I don't know, I'm going to do a little bit more with you here just kind of watching. We'll see from there. I don't even see it going on. I don't know if I just don't have enough. But let's go, uh, let's go down here. Yeah. Make sure you don't have big blobs everywhere. dries and rough it off. Huh? I guess a little bit coming off. In there. And the wind today is brutal. Alright. Okay. That. Be 
do anything. I mean, I'm sure it did something, but it didn't work yet. This boat has been neglected for a long time, huh? Let's see if it gets smoother. It does get smoother. I think I'm going to have to do it a couple times here. So let's do this. We're going to work. I don't know how far you can see here. Let me put you in a wide angle. I'm going to work from the bow down to, you can't see it because my hairy arm's in the way, right about there. I'll put two coats on and then go from there. Like I said, I don't know if it's the uh, the pad just soaking up the, the wax. Or what? Right, here we go. This pad is supposed to be a show car finish. I do like the angle of this pad. It does, uh, it makes it easier to get up close to the rub rail. I'm in your way. And you're just going to have to deal with it. going to go with the pad just wasn't charged enough because now it really looks to be a fine. So I'm going to hit the front again uh, all the way over here and then keep going. But I'm going to put you in hyperlapse to watch along for a little bit and then we'll come back at the end. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to take you off of here. Uh, the sun's getting to be at the wrong angle. And I'm just going to finish, and I'll come back and walk you through what happened here for the end of the video. Uh, but, let me see. man, that sun is brutal right now. Anyway, I want to get it done before the sun comes. But I did two coats over here so far. Uh, it says wait a few minutes for it to dry, then rub it off, which is what I'm going to do, kind of polish it up. Uh, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the rest of the boat, then I'll come back at the beginning over here and then start rubbing it off with my microfiber and then we'll see what we got so thanks for joining so far and let me get this done okay so you can definitely see when uh you got enough on there you can just see right there it's not fully dry yet it really it's turning pretty white when it does and i think that's when you wipe it off so did the whole side in about five minutes letting it dry gonna hit it with the microfiber, polish it up and see what happens. So, great, this is so easy. I wish the rest of it was. Well, maybe I'm just doing it wrong.